Okay, the most common question I get asked when I'm putting up these uh, writing the pro videos is, hey, well, sorry, what software do you use to uh, overlay the power onto the video? And because it looks really cool. So I thought today I'd uh, show you how I do it. Basically, I'm using Garmin Verb, and uh, I'll show you on this computer here how you do it. So, so when you've come back from your ride, I'm, I'll use you got your video footage. I use the Hero Six, and you've got your data. I'm using the PC8 with my SRM. So once, once you've uploaded those to your computer, I'll show you on this computer here how I merged them together so you've got uh, power data on your videos. Okay, see you soon. I'm on my Garrett Thomas video at the moment. So let's go down to the Garmin Verb Edit. We'll open that up. And we'll show you how to do this. All right, so you get this screen here. So first thing you do is uh, hit Create Video. Call it what you want. So I'll just put sky ride test. Hit create video. And we'll get the screen here. So then what you do is you import import the clips. Now, since I'm using the Hero 6, you go import other. And I will go to my disk station. through here, cycling 2017 two down under. And I've actually already imported this, but we'll just see if it can do it again. Uh, we'll probably say, okay, I always do import only. I don't want to copy clips to the, otherwise you end up with huge, huge files in your, in your computer. So just put import only. Optimize later. You can do optimization, but I always do optimize later. My computer's powerful enough. Right, so here we go. So this is the last import. It's the one I've just imported. Drag this to your timeline, like so. Now I usually just zoom it a little bit, so it covers the full screen. And this is your raw video footage. Okay, so next thing you do, hit G Metrics. Right, so before I do this, I'll show you how I got the data from my SRM. So, I've got my SRM software here. I've already done it here. Filter it by Sky, look for Sky. This, is, this was the date I did the uh, video. I right click on there, go export as. <clears throat> I've already got a fit folder there. So, export as a fit file. Save it in the fit folder. It's going to say to overwrite, replace. I'll just replace it, it doesn't matter. Okay, so that's how you get the data from my SRM. Simple as that, you just put it in a folder. And now I'll go back to the Garmin software. I'll hit data. It says import your fit or GPX file in the data tab. So, import G metrics. No GPS device detected, that's fine. So over here, you've got devices, and you click on, on my computer. Manual selection, browse. Okay, now this is on my desktop. And it's under SRM files, fit files for Garmin Verb. And that's the one right there. Okay, so this is a read I took that day. So you hit use this log file. And there we go. So now you've got the default, you've got the default gauges here. So what I do now is I go over to templates. When I first started, I'll start off with like a def this is the default template here. And I just delete, just delete the gauges on here. Start afresh. So let's see if I can remember my layout, so then you just go to gauges. So let's start with power. And I believe I used, which one did I use? Oh, it doesn't really matter. You can pick whichever one you want. You just drag it, drag it onto there. Just select your next one. Recorded speed. 
<clears throat> so it's, it's pretty, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just put them on there, drag them around. So once you get it all set up, let's just do another one. Uh, distance. There's a distance one. There we go. So I'm, I like my little distance one with the uh, little cyclist cruising along. I need to put that over there. Seems to go to appearance, and you can change things here. You just change the colours everywhere. Do what you like there. So after you do all this, you can actually save this as a template. Call it Sky Test Template. Hit Save Template, and it miraculously turns up here. So you, you can you know have all sorts of templates here for all your different activities and everything. And it's as easy as pie. All, all I do now is I just hit my custom template here, and it just comes up automatically. All right, so now we've got all the gauges up. Next thing you do is go to data, and you want to do a geometric sync because you basically want to sync the data with the actual video. So now we'll come up with this screen here. Now the fun starts. <laughs> So I come along here and I'll usually find a street. Here we go, here's a street here. Let's click here backwards. So Berkeley Avenue. So this is when it's good to know your area. So I'll just come up here, I rode into the city, grab the Sky Boys, and we rode back down. And I believe Berkeley Avenue is around here. So I'll just zoom in. Let's just pass, oops, pass South Road. So you basically zoom in, and this is where this is where the fun starts. Because you've got to try and sync it. Sync it exactly. Okay. I'm just gonna check here where actually Berkeley Street is. Let's have a look. Alright, let's have a quick look here where we are in Adelaide. Might be better off putting it somewhere else. Okay, that's the corner of Main Road and Anzac Highway. That might be easier. Let's do that one. So that is back here. Let's go back. Told you it's fun. <laughs> Okay, so we picked up Sky Boys, went down here, and that should be the corner of Marion and Anzac Highway. Main Road, Anzac Highway, there's a highway in, which is over here. So I'm just about to So we're taking off, off the lights here. All right. So once you think you've got it, you click done. And then you actually see if it matches. And you can see here it's out because I've got 294, whoop, 218 watts there and I've got 88. So you basically go back and you just go geometric sync and you just go backwards and forwards until you've got it synced perfectly, the data file with your video. And that's it. So once, once you've got all that done, and you've got it synced up perfectly, sometimes it takes like an hour. And after I've done that, you just hit export. And you can change this here. I believe the bit rate was 45.15 megabits per second. Okay, so there we go, and you just hit export there. And I just put it on a desktop. 
Actually, what I found was when I was trying to uh, export to my network attached storage, it was failing, so I just put it to the desktop now. I won't do it now, because it's just going to create another file. And I'll, well, actually, I actually will do it. So the export, I'll just cancel it. So it'll just come up, export done. Cancel the export, yes. Okay, so what you end up with is the ride over here. And so I'll just select it. And this is the completed ride, so. Turn the volume down. <laughs> so I think you'll appreciate, once you've done a couple, you'll appreciate how I sync the data because sometimes it just doesn't sync perfectly. Like you'll see sometimes here, and it's a little, uh, if anyone knows why this is so, please tell me, there's a little glitch. Like you can see here on my SRM PC8, it's showing zero kilometers now, but it's showing three kilometers down here. So what I think is happening is the Garmin's averaging, averaging uh, data points. Like if you don't perfectly hit a second mark, it will just average it. So that's why you get these anomalies here. So there we go. So what I try and do when I sync it is I'll listen to my free wheel and I'll know, okay, I've got zero cadence there. So I'll just try and try and get the data matching the physical, what I'm actually doing on the bike. So there we go, guys. That's how you sync the, uh, the data from your Garmin or your SRM to your video. So I hope you like that. Hit the like button, hit the bell button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next video. Okay, cheers.